It's time to dust off those cobwebs off your MXQ Pro S905 because I've got an amazing ROM to replace your stock firmware. This is by Coolio over on Frito, so all credit goes to him. As well as that, this ROM brings us the Google Leanback Launcher, which is such a fantastic piece of kit for any Android TV box. This firmware also brings major improvements throughout, including increased 3D performance for your games. So this is a pretty easy process, but make sure you pay attention to this tutorial because you don't want to miss any step because you might end up breaking your box. So without further ado, let's get started. This tutorial requires you to understand the processes behind installing firmware on any Android TV box. This process may brick your box so please understand how to reverse this process and recover using appropriate firmware for your TV box. This has been aimed at the P201 MXQ Pro S905 motherboard. It has also been reported to work on the A95X Nextbox S905 TV box. This will not work on S905X devices or S905D. Please pay attention to this tutorial. If you brick it, it is entirely your fault. You have been warned. You're going to need a USB mail to mail USB cable. This is to connect our MXQ Pro to our PC. They can be found pretty cheap on eBay or Amazon. Now we need to go and download our file from FreeTab. Now this file contains everything we need from USB burning tool to the ROM itself. Now we're going to be using USB burning tool to actually burn this image onto our MXQ Pro. So once you've downloaded this file, you need to unzip it. You can use 7-zip or whichever unzip tool you may already have on your computer. I'll leave a link in the description if you don't have one. So once unzipped, open up your folder and you'll see a folder named Amlogic USB Burning Tool. Open that and install the executable file found. Once you've installed it, we can then move on to the next part. Within the actual folder, you'll see that it says Amlogic USB Burning Tool. If we go into there, we can see that we've got files that are just in this folder. Now we need to copy these files and we need to place them into the Amlogic installation folder. So if you go to your start menu, go to computer and go to your local disk and find what you need to find is you need to find program files as shown. And then we need to find Amlogic. And find USB burning tool and then simply copy and paste those two files into this folder. Once you've done that we can move on to the next part. So let's load USB burning tool. Let's change the language to English. Click on file then import the image from that folder we've just used it before just as shown. Now we also need to select on the right hand side, force erase all. Once you've done that, we now need to connect our MXQ Pro box to our PC. So connect one end of your USB mail cable into your computer and then grab your MXQ Pro box, grab something thin and sharp and insert it into your AV port. Inside there is a little button, hold that button in and then connect the other end of the USB cable into your back of your MXQ Pro as shown. Keep the AV port button held in. Your computer will start installing drivers suitable for your MXQ Pro. This may take a while so keep it held in during this process. It may actually come up saying installation failed. Don't worry about this, just disconnect the AV port, disconnect the USB cable from your MXQ box and repeat the process holding the AV port button and then apply the USB cable and on screen it should say connection success. Once it says connection success you can simply click start. 
it will take around about 5 minutes to complete the installation onto your MXQ Pro. You can now connect your MXQ Pro to your TV and start the initial boot process. This can take up to 10 minutes so just leave it well alone while it's doing it. If you've had any errors during the burning process, then unfortunately you'll have to go and check out the Freak Tag forum to see if there's any solutions. Errors come from all over the place with analogic USB burning tool. Simple solutions like simply changing USB burning tool to a different version can fix this issue. Issues like pass image fail are sometimes associated with corrupt files so simply download that image file again and repeat the process. Other errors unfortunately I don't have the answer to. Again check out the free tab forums to see if anyone's got an answer for you. So welcome to Google's Lean Back Launcher. It is a lot cleaner this launcher than most of the TV box launchers you'll find on these cheaper TV boxes. Um, it's just displayed a lot nicer basically. So this is the game's 3D booster. It kind of adjusted your, well, your TV screen to actually increase the frame rate of the games that you're playing. You've got settings here, so we'll go into settings and we can set up our network. Mine's obviously already connected, but if you just click select Wi-Fi and then click Wi-Fi device, and just turn it on and then hopefully you've got the supported Wi-Fi chip drivers in the firmware for your Wi-Fi chip that you've got inside your box. I can't guarantee it but there's quite a few different Wi-Fi chipsets supported by this firmware as you'll be able to check out actually on the free tab forum it actually tells you which ones it supports. Ethernet should be supported but you know we all like our Wi-Fi don't we? So just like all Android firmware, you've got all your different settings. There is a few unsupported settings in this actual firmware. Again, it tells you on the free tab form which, which supports or not, because this at the end of the day, this is actually a Google TV launcher. So it's a lot different to, you know, your standard Android launcher that you find on most TV boxes. You've got your Play Store, etc. You've got YouTube app already pre-built in. And um, you, you guys can obviously see it's a lot nicer. It's a lot cleaner display. And you know, overall, it's a lot faster as well. It's a lot nicer and a lot smoother, and things just run overall better. So you guys can check that out. You guys can tell me how you get on with it, and if you've got any issues, etc. I'd love to hear from you all about it. And yeah, there we go, guys. So this is Coolio's ROM for the MXQ Pro S905. So all credit goes to Coolio over on FreeTab. This has been a video brought to you by the MXQ Project. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching. We shall see you in the next one.